Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors, and look where we are. Historic St. Andrew. Speaking of historic. <laughs> hey, I'm not that old, Coach. Oh, man, it's great to be here. What's going Thanks on? Thanks for buddy? coming down. Just another salty day in St. Andrews. Um, you know, as you can see behind us, you know, we have a, what we feel is a beautiful shop um, here in St. Andrews. We've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to to, to create this, and, you know, I'm excited y'all came here to us. I know. Today, it. and we're going to do give you a little nickel tour around the store. Who knows? We may even slide into my wife's store next door and show you a dress. Oh, that'd be cool. You Matt's got to model it, though. Matt's going to try it on. And, you know, that's the thing about our sponsors. It's so great to go to their stores and all to see. And if, as an outdoorsman, you know, you're going to feel right at home here at Sun Jammer. So you got just some all going good st cool stuff as we, simple as that we try we try we um you know matt's fisherman ernie's a fisherman ron is not a fisherman but he's an outdoorsman he loves to paddle yeah. and i love absolutely all of it yeah. so as we see things that pique our interest we just go out and see is that something we could sell and there's been a lot of things that i've brought to the table and they're like are you serious no that's never gonna sell and then it works out selling Sometimes it's the other way. Sometimes we have flopped, but you never know. I mean, we brought in disc golf this year. Um, trying to turn, we're actually trying to turn into more of a well-rounded outdoor store, not going the hunting and fishing route, but just the outdoor lifestyle store that you can do with families and kids. I'm looking, my girls are getting nine and about to be seven. So what things can we do together? Obviously we have the water taken care of. We got all the toys for the water, but some days it's windy, it's cold, and we just can't always get out on the water. Right. So we're starting to look at what are some other things we can do as a family unit to bring us closer together and be outside in God's creation. That's a great, great philosophy too. And, and you're doing it right here. And this, you know, this is a small, small local business, a local owner. And that's the beauty of all of our sponsors. We, we go this route. So this, uh, these kayaks, man, I, we're in kayak heaven right here. I'd like to think we're in kayak heaven. We're right in the middle of kayak heaven with all of the Hobie kayaks. Hobie's been making their pedal drives for a um, little over 20 years now. It's right at 20 they years. They don't seem that long. It's, been a, it's been a while. So they have it dialed in, they have it figured out. And this is the year that everybody has pedal kayaks on the market this year. They've all finally realized there's a distinct advantage to fishing with pedaling. Yeah. But what a lot of them can't figure out is how to get in shallow water with their pedals. The Hobie kayaks, they got it figured out. Shallow water is no problem. As you know, you can pull it right up on your dock while leaving the pedals in. So. We feel that for our fishery, Hobies are leaps and bounds greater than anybody else's. Okay, and then we're going to go and just look at each one of the highlights and all. Absolutely. So y'all stay with us and come back. We're going to have Matt talk to you about a Hobie Outback. Ooh. Hi, welcome back. Now, one of our, one of the main man, Matt. That's what they call him. How That's you doing right. today, man? I'm doing great, Coach. I, I, know you, I, I know you've been catching a lot of fish. I've been seeing the pictures. Okay, we'll talk about the fishing later. But right now, I want you to break down this kayak for us and, and tell the audience what we got going. So I'm going to just turn it over to you, buddy. All right, Coach. Uh, right here is the uh, the Hobie Outback. Uh, this, this kayak is uh, 12 foot long. Uh, comes with a, a nice handle. It comes with a nice uh, place for uh, stowage. Comes with your, your Mirage Drive, your your paddle, and the very comfortable Vantage CTC. Uh, it's all adjustable. You got a high low position. Um, here's another tackle storage management hatch right here. You got two of the uh, hookless uh, pouches, the rubber mesh. Really good for uh, you know not getting your hooks tangled up. Mm -hmm. uh, this this kayak is very fast, very stable, and uh, it to me it's it's the it's the best do all kayak it's uh the it's the most popular hobie kayak that we sell here at uh sun jammers and uh well it, and, that speaks volumes for it because but one of the big improvements i've seen from is, is these seats now they're just special i mean compared to the early seats we had yes kayaking. that's right and that's comfortable it's got it this seat right here is great uh right here you got you know your lumbar control if you want it to loosen you just you just pull this out, push it in. And right now, we'll go down to the, um, the low position. Just pull your... That's that simple. If you need to now. lower your center of gravity, now you're down 
as low as you can be. That's simple. And even yes, we even have the pedals color coded now for, for tell we us do. about the colors. Okay, so so right here is your your MD one eighty. This uh, boat comes standard with the uh, the turbo fins. Um, right here, you it's it's in forward. Mm -hmm. So you pull this straight back, turns your fins in a one eighty, and now you're going to reverse and uh, stick it in. You're just stick it in. No, you don't have to pull any latches or anything like that to lock it in. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's a great all-around boat. Um, I've been out there on the flats with it, been doing great with it. Um, it is a little bit different than my Pro Angler, but you know, it is a great boat. Um, it's, it's very popular around here. It's yeah. lighter to drag down the beach versus the Pro Angler and stuff like that. So uh -huh. it's, uh, you're, you're, it's a great do-all boat. Okay. So. All right. All right, folks, we're in the back of the store now, Brad. Always in the back of the store where some bargains going on back Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So tell us what we got. So for 2018, 2018, we decided to restock the Perception line of kayaks. We cherry-picked their line based on our local market. Like we talked about earlier with the Hobie kayaks, they're the best for our local market. We picked the Perception kayaks, they're best for our local market. What I really like about this right here is the Pescador 12. It is obviously 12 foot long. We have a 10 foot on order. It'll be here in the next couple of weeks. But this boat has integrated side handles. It has massively large front handles and also one on the rear. They upgraded their hatch this year, so it's easy to get in, easy to close. And the pedals are adjustable for those different length legs. It has integrated traction on the side for putting all of your RAM products, your RAM balls, all that good stuff. Best part about this boat is it's $679. How much? Six hundred and seventy-nine dollars. That's all. And they got pedals. It does not have oh, pedals. It does not have pedals. It, does not have pedals. Okay. it just it has your foot pedal. They're not. Your it's foot. not propulsion. Per, propulsion. I can't. That's a hard word to say. It is. Not proportion. Pe, por, I can't say oh, pedals that won't make you go forward. But it's something to brace your feet while you paddle. Cool. Because then these play a vital role in paddling. Because when you paddle, you actually push. Oh, I'm going to get it wrong. One of your feet forward, and it transitions more of the energy from the blade to your body to the kayak to make it push through the water. Ron can get into the scientific aspect of what all makes that happen. Um, but yeah, 675, so we're here. And I believe, don't quote me on this, I think we're at 679, I think the other one's 579, I think it's $100 less for the 10 foot boat. So if you float any of the creeks um, or anything like that, that is the boat to have, it's our creek boat. We literally sold hundreds of these boats four or five years ago. Um, not to get long story short, make a long story short, me and Perception had to disagree. It, so I was like, peace, see ya. Well, they have a whole new regime in there now and they're moving in a direction that I feel comfortable partnering with. So here we are. And they also have molded in rod holders on the back. So it's just not a recreational kayak. Wow. It's a full blown fishing kayak. Um, another one that we're also stocking is the uh, Perception Pescador Pro. It has a frame seat, some more fishing things that it bumps up to that 850 875 price range off the top of my head i should probably look that up before we got on camera <laughs> but um and it paddles fantastic you can stand in it it is a fishing machine for under 900 dollars. wow so right here we have um hobie's inflatable the i11 it inflates this when you can put the mirage drive the pedal system in um super comfortable seat and there's not a whole lot we can show you on this what we need you to do is come down here and actually touch it feel it and see the quality of the Hobies, the quality of the perceptions, and um, we'll let you get on the water this year. Okay. Something else we're stocking for this year is paddle boards. So give a second and we'll show you the big paddle boards that we're starting to stock. Okay, Brad, tell us what we got next. We have big paddle boards. So 2018, we're getting back in the big paddle board game. So we were able to get some closeouts. This is the Wahine. This is one of our top selling boards. We were selling this board two years ago for $11.49. We got it on closeout for $7.99. We only got two left, so come see us. Woo. That's right, and then we just step down and we go through these really quick because this, once again, you really have to come into the store and touch these and feel them and kind of get the one that's right for you. Don't get sold on the pretty glossy or this. That's more about the function than the looks. Um, even though Bic has some sexy boards, we still want to make sure you get the right board so you can actually use it instead of just look cool doing it. Um, we have this as their crossover. This is the do-all board. If you want to fish off of it, if you want to do paddleboard yoga, if you just want to go out and take pictures and sunsets, this is one of the most universal boards that we have. And then the board that I'm excited about, it's the slide pack. 
And the reason it's called a slide pack, it's a foam board, um, and it's not slide because you slide around on it. It slides because it slides over top of the water. Um, it is lightweight. It is soft from top to bottom, so if you do fall, you don't get hurt. Comes with a paddle, a leash, and a pack of fins for five hundred and ninety-nine dollars. That's a six hundred dollar package. We can pre we can compete with the box stores with that one with a quality product. This Vic makes some of the best boards on the market, and you can support a local independent store um, and get into paddle boarding for everything you need for six hundred bucks. And then the Big Mama right below it is their Cross Fish. This is a super wide, super fast, super stable fishing board. It's probably one of the best fishing powder boards on the market that's easily maneuverable around. You can pick it up and walk with it. It's lightweight, it's fast. She holds her hips all the way back and that makes her really, really stable in the water. So we got one of the best powder board fishermen in the country in here, Ernie Cavett. He can come in here, he will talk you through all of these boards to make sure that you get the right board for you if you're fishing. He also takes this little one and the, when the wave kicks up and surfs it, so he knows the entire product line. He just didn't read the brochure. He could have helped write it. So come down 1129 Beck Avenue and let us sell you a paddle board. Okay, welcome back. Now we're back here at the disc golf display, and, and Brad, we, we introduced this in the outdoor ed several years back, That's and really the kids cool. in the outdoor ed love disc golf. It goes along with doing everything else in the outdoors. Like Absolutely. It's a lifestyle. It is. So I'm glad to see you have some stuff here, so let's talk about it. It is. So disc golf got really big 20-ish years ago out in the Midwest. It kind of died. It was kind of a hippie sport type thing. Now it's back, and we have five or six local courses here in Panama City that the old Bay Dunes golf course, they just changed what's called Majet. Now they just put nine holes. They got nine more holes of a championship course going in. But the cool thing about all the public courses here locally, they're all completely free. So you need to come down here. You need to buy a starter kit. Don't start with anything else. You need to start right here. And they're inexpensive. They're, they're easily obtainable. We have plenty of them. And you just go out to Florida State and you just start slinging it. It's just like golf. There's a tee box and there's a, there's a goal or a target as they call it. Looks very similar to this one right here. And all you do is throw the disc as in you count how many times it takes you to land it in here. They have par threes, par fours, par fives, the whole nine yards. There's a local Facebook group called the Panama City Chain Bangers that um, they meet on a regular basis. They have at least once a week, they'll have kind of a little tournament club play. They, uh, there's these tags. So I challenge you when we trade tags, it's just super, super cool. And what it, I like is I'm not good at all, but I'm slightly better than my seven year old daughter. Not much, but just a little bit. But when I play with her versus when I play with somebody really good, it doesn't really affect my play. With golf, if you play with a hacker, it's miserable. But with this, it doesn't really slow me down that much because she runs up ahead and plays. She walks faster, she runs faster. Um, so it's a fun thing that the entire family can do. And if I start with a putter with her, um, which is the only disc she throws as a putter, she can't throw it hard enough or fast enough and the way the disc is designed, it won't get too out of control. Where if I gave her one of these high speed drivers, she is, it, we could be chasing a disc. So I give her a super stable disc where she can just throw it, it pretty much goes straight every time. If it curves a little, it doesn't curve that much. So a lot of people will just start with just simply a putter and when they get decent with this, then they step it up. So. Super easy. Um, once again, Ernie, just like the powderboard guy, he's also our disc golf guy. He is. Um, he plays all the time. He just went over and played in a um, in a tournament over in Tallahassee. They have these tournaments where they bring in thousands of people from all over the country to play. There's entire networks dedicated just to disc golf. If you want any more information on this, of course, come by and see us here at Sun Jammers. But you can also just YouTube disc golf how tos. There's tons of videos that kind of help you get started. But the best thing to do is come by a starter kit. Go to Florida State, and if you don't want to do it in public, we sell these targets, and you can do it in your backyard. And we also we have a wide selection of um, polarized sunglasses here. You see the um, Costas we're stocking their entire 580p and some 580g uh, lines. They have the cool thing that um, Costa's doing is they partnered with um, O Search. And if you don't know anything about O Search, Google O Search. They're the one that tracks all the giant sharks everywhere. And then they have their special edition glasses, and we have a few of them here. I have a pair of their um, O Search glasses just because it's kind of cool. I like them. Um, how they support conservation, they support the conservation of sharks and all that kind of stuff. Really cool. We also have the Smith glasses here right next door. Um, Smith glasses, they're all polymer lenses that we stock. They're super lightweight, they're crystal clear. They're actually they're some of my personal favorite glasses. 
Um, I have several pairs of Smith. Jamie, my wife, she has several pairs of Smith. What she likes about um, the Smith is she likes aviators. But she doesn't like them hanging in their in her hair. So Smith has a cool um, integrated nose piece in all their aviators where they can flip the glasses up on top of their head when they go in somewhere. And they can just simply pull it right back down without it getting hung, which is super cool. But there's nothing more irritating than having something hung up in your hair. So we have the Smith and we have the Coasts. We also um, stock a brand called SunCloud, which is a sister company of Smith. They're not quite the quality, but they're bang for your buck. They're either $59 or $49, depending on which frame you get. And they're, they're super clear. They're your great backup pair of sunglasses. There's absolutely nothing worse than losing a pair of glasses and having a crummy gas station pair there on your backup. So from kayaks to paddle boards to sunglasses, we pretty much got it all down here in St. Andrews. One of the most important things all day long is a good pair of shoes, good pair of flip-flops. Olakai has the best footbeds on the market. You have your ladies' leathers here. You have your ladies' sandals. And as we slide down, we get into the ladies' full water. Um, these are fully waterproof shoes, but they don't give up traction on the bottom or that comfort bed. And then we have some really cool men's pairs on the other side. Just like the ladies, the men's Olakai's, they're built from the sole up for comfort. We have our leather series. I like to call these my Sunday's best. And then we roll in. They also have your full-blown water shoes. And one thing I do like about the Olakai flip-flops um, is they have this uh, footbed here that when you get wet, your foot actually sticks to it. Not in a sticky way, but the way it's designed, your foot does not slip around like it does on a lot of pairs. And then the shoes. These are full-blown water shoes. Um, these are not water shoes, but all of these on the end down here, these are water shoes. And one thing that I do like about the Olakai's, I have to point out every time I talk to y'all, is the patented fold down heel. So if you just want to slip your foot in, you just slide your foot in and you sit right on top of that heel. And after you do that a few times, this folds down like a glove. So from sunglasses, paddle boards, the whole nine yards, and your tennis shoes, we got them here at Sunjammers Water Sports. So if you remember, a little over a year ago, we added a women's boutique section to Sunjammers. That was a little weird. We admit, and y'all told us, and we listened. So what we did is we acquired the space directly next door. We literally cut a hole in the wall. My wife put in a store called The Trendy Side. It is St. Andrew's newest boutique. She's really good at merchandising, so this gives her a creative outlet for doing that. And she's always been spot on. In fact, she was best dressed at Mosley High School her senior year. So it's just natural that she's in here um, with a clothing boutique now. So it is literally right next door to Sunjammers come in she's always things turn really quickly over here so if you see something you like you gotta buy it but if you're like oh i'll come back next week for that we're just gonna kind of chuckle and go okay see you next week but you're gonna have to pick out something else because it just simply won't la last that long as we're rolling into spring we're starting to get in maxi dresses and tank tops and i know way too much about this industry all of a sudden <laughs> you know i'm the kayak guy but people think it's kind of funny because i do work this side a lot because my wife she's a kindergarten teacher so she has a real job doing one of the most thankless jobs in the country of teaching our youth and this is her creative outlet where she gets to come out and here we are inside the trendy side i would love for you to come next door to sun jammers what make me even happier if you came next door to the trendy side and supported my wife Okay, we're going to do a quick closing here. Ernie, good to see you today. We're going to get you talking more next yes. time, Matt. Always good to see you, buddy. Brad, thank you so much. Always, always a pleasure. All right, we're going to take a quick break, come back, do a quick fishing report, and draw those winners for today. Okay, welcome back, folks. Hope you enjoyed that little visit down there to Sunjammer. Now time to get down to business because I know you want to get your name drawn out of here. So we've got, got a few minutes and we're going to do a fishing report. The winner, let's go ahead and get into it, but let's go to the winner. Sand Hill Seafood, a big seafood platter is going to be Marcus Parrish. I know Marcus will enjoy that. And the winner of the $20 gift certificate down at Tarpon Dock is going to be Michael Harris. I know Michael will enjoy that. And the winner of the Big Red Snapper. By the way, if you can't make it the week that I, I draw your name, it's okay, but just let me know, because sometimes, you know, they'll get three or four people down there doing, I mean, sort of let me know, so I'll call them and say, hey, you know, so-and-so couldn't make it, and they'll make it next week. So if, but if you come out during that week, you're okay, as far as uh, notification. And the winner of the Big one, Red Snapper, Mike Fitzgerald from Panama City. So we've got Marcus, Michael, and Mike. Okay, now <clears throat> let's talk about the fishing report. I'll tell you what's fascinating. This week has been been watching and all, and you know we'll get that weather out of here, and we're going. It's going to be a great weekend. Now, there's really four four targets you can hit. Number one is going to be the Spanish, and just a quote what I've heard over and over again: the Spanish are thick. Those four words: the Spanish are thick. And we showed you last week, you know where to go, some places you can uh, go to on, on shore or by boat. So those same places, 
also over there at Choctaw Hatchet Bay, around the jetties are coming up under the bridge in that area is where the, t the tail might go down there. St. Joe Bay, out by that buoy line, out Plasticola Bay, just out, out past the pass in, in there. They're all Spanish, all okay, so they got Spanish. Second thing, Pompano. Now, we talked about it this week. They're, they're starting to catch them scattered. The water temperature is going, is going up again. Remember, March is really the speckle, I mean, I'm sorry, Spanish mackerel month is March. April is really Pompano month. And then in between, we've got king mackerel coming in uh, off the pier this week. They've caught some really nice king mackerel. I'm talking about 25, 30 pound king mackerel being caught off the pier. Now also, the fourth one I wrote down would be the cobia. And we talked about some cobia being caught. I saw a nice cobia uh, caught, uh, some pictures. That's the great thing about social media. You can just keep up with it. You know, instead of me calling all over the place, I just go and look at different people and and they'll send it to me. And so the cobia has been caught off the pier this week. Also, cobia were caught around the jetties, some smaller cobia. So I, I can promise you this weekend, there are going to be a bunch of boats out there, you know, looking. They'll be up on the tower. They're going to be looking. And we've talked about cobia fishing before. So it's fascinating to watch it. There'll be an army of boats going out there, not just here, but also over out of, out of Destin area. There'll be a lot of cobia fishermen. There's really, they're going to be really thick. So what's your best bet? If the, the rivers are going to be in good shape, they're not going to be going down. If you're freshwater fishing, bass fishing is going to be excellent. Brim fishing is going to be excellent. And cat fishing is going to be okay. As far as now, the surf fishing for Pompano, let's get back to the finish up with that. Pompano surf fishing, I'm going to try it out in the morning. We're going to give it a try. It's, it's, we're going, I think we're right on the cutting edge of the really big schools coming in. I'm seeing catches of well, one, twos, and I haven't seen anybody catch more than three at one time. So when you, when they, uh, when you limit out all, that's when they hear thick. So be aware, and again, those, those fish bites, those strips that you put in there, that's what you need. So, uh, you know, as you get, get ready to go out, make sure you uh, have all those things with you and make sure if you're in a boat now, to watch out for the other fella because they're going to be looking and everybody's going to be trolling. Make sure you stay in a circle and keep a, a distance between you, a gentleman, what I call a gentleman's distance between you and the fellow fishermen. We're going to wrap things up. We've got a big week planned next week. We're going to be giving some stuff away. Don't forget, uh, uh, Easter egg hunt tomorrow at the Shriners, okay? Here at Panama City, the Shriners. Greg Williams called me from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Free Easter egg hunt. Y'all be there. Have a great weekend. Do something good for someone else and enjoy the outdoors and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.